Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we're talking about green lasers and receivers. So if you like this video today, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon uh, to be notified when we're putting out new content. Okay, so we've already done a video on the Stabila LAR300G, which is a green laser. And I was waiting for the receiver, but we didn't have it at the time of that video. So now we have the receiver, we've got an elevation stick, and we also have the laser here. So the receiver uh, model number is REC500RG. RG stands for red green, okay? So it will not only catch a green laser dot or line, it will also capture a red one. So that's kind of cool that you can get multi-purpose out of this one particular receiver. As a deck builder, we pretty much 99.99% .99 are working outside. So it's really hard to see a red laser dot for elevation purposes. You always have to use a receiver. Something that kind of blew me away today is I have the green laser set up. I was gonna say, okay, studio man, let's set up this laser and let's do this video and we'll shoot it with the receiver. But as I'm looking at the house, what I noticed was that I could really see this line on the house, okay? I don't know what's going on there. It's picking up on something. All right, so uh, normally with a red laser, oh, oh, I can see it. I can see clearly now. So I have that laser set up to a plumb line going up as well, and I think it's shooting out, and that's why this, this, this laser, or this receiver's catching it. Oh, it's a vertical line. So can you see it now? I have to keep my eyes closed for safety. I can actually see that green laser through my eyelid, so that's probably not a good thing. So don't do that, all right? But I was really impressed, seriously. Oh, oh there's a backside reader on this device as well. So it's like in an LED crystal form. Back to what I was talking about. Okay, so basically I was impressed at how well I can see the green laser compared to the red one. So I think that I could probably set this thing to elevation, get all my marks, and I wouldn't even need the receiver, but this video is about the receiver, so we're gonna show you how we use that, okay? All right, so basically what I did was I set the laser to the top edge of where I want the top of my decking to go. And so you can kind of see over here, we're tying in next to another deck, right? So I set the laser basically right to where the top of my deck boards are gonna go, because that's where I need to cut the house away. So basically I have that set and, I've, and, and you can kind of see this green line as it goes along. That's pretty much where we need to cut the siding away for our deck. So I'll just, use a couple pencil lines and then we'll just snap a line and be able to cut that off. So that's really cool to be able to see that so easily. But what I wanna do is show you guys a little bit about how we use the receiver and even an elevation stick to kinda of know if we're too tall, okay? So I'm gonna use this footing right here, this pile, as an example of what we got going on. So I know that my laser is at the very top of my decking. So I need to add the, the thickness of my decking, which is one inch, the thickness of my joist, which is seven and a half, and the thickness of my beam, which is seven and a half. Add all that together and I get 16 inches. So the top of my footing has to be more than 16 inches or else I have to cut this down, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this just so it slides up and down a little bit and you'll notice right here that this goes in with this line here and then this actually sets up. There's actually a Stabila stick as well. I don't have it with me today. Uh, so I'm just using a generic one, okay? So now what I'm trying to do is catch that laser on the receiver until it's an action. <laughs> I can see it right here. But if I, if I couldn't see it, we'll take it down, getting close. I can feel it. Okay, we're close. It's beeping rapidly. When it goes to a solid beep, that's when you know you're exactly on the laser. We're very close. There you go. You can change the audible volume of that. If that's uh, too loud for you, you can drop it down a little bit. Sometimes what I do, 
is I'll draw that line right there. Okay, it looks like we're a little too high with our footing. Let's get rid of that volume. Ooh. Okay, so we know we're a little high. I don't think that's 16 inches. We're 14 and a half. So I know that this, that this pile, we have to take this off and cut an inch and a half out of this at least to make sure that this is at the right height. So that kind of makes really quick work. We can sit here and go through every one of these piles and make sure that we're not too high or if we're too low, no problem, because these are adjustable. For today, that's what we're using this green laser for, and that's what that receiver's for, is to actually just help you find that line anytime you need it. Uh, when you can't see it, if it's really bright and sunny out, it's a cloudy day today, it's overcast, so uh, we're able to see the green laser a little bit better, a lot better than a red laser. It makes really quick work out of getting your elevations figured out on a deck for piles and that kind of thing. So if you like this video, guys, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Like our videos, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future in future videos, and we really appreciate you. Thank you for coming to our channel today. Have a good day.